Cancer, my Cancerians, welcome back. Um, so today for you, Cancer, we're going to be looking at what energies are coming towards you, um, whether that's in your career, okay, your love life, or lack thereof, um, um, just life in general, okay, what energies are coming towards you, and we're also going to see um, what your heart needs from you during that time, okay? So let's dive in. Okay, so what's coming towards my concerns, please? What do they need to be prepared for? Oh. Well, all right. Okay, you have the two of swords. You have the nine of wands. And you have the six of wands. I want to get one more. One more card, please. Oh. No, no, I'm tripping. Okay. One more card here, please, for Cancer. What's coming towards Cancer? I really feel this energy of you freeing yourself, um, Cancer, which is great, honestly, because in your message yesterday, um, it felt like you were kind of bogged down, but um, I feel this energy of you freeing yourself from that energy, which is uh, wonderful. All right. And then we have the four swords, right? So you're taking the time here um, to get real about something. All right. That's what's coming up for you. The The... The pressure relief, right? It's it's like you're in um, a pressure tank. Um, for some of you, this is, um, you know, a, it might be a deep, dark depression that you're in or that you've been in recently. But like I said, I feel like this pressure is finally coming out. Like um, you're finally coming to the realization of something, accepting something for what it is. I feel like that. I feel that strongly, strongly in the four of swords here like you're, you're accepting the circumstances and really thinking about how you can push through um for yourself for your success okay to receive the recognition that you deserve to be happy okay maybe even to get some attention from new suitors all right but you're looking at how you can be successful here in this situation which is beautiful Let's start deeper. It's only while I'm in here trying to do tarot and just happen to want some fresh air <laughs> that they decide to make all that noise outside. Disrespectful, I tell ya. All right, Spirit, let's um, tell me more about this Six of Wands for Cancer, please. Tell me more about the Six of Wands for Cancer, please. Thank you. We have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, and, and you know, I felt that really strongly in the Six of Wands. Like, I think this is about your success. Not only having victory over um, the depression, the, the dep just the depressive energy. Yeah. I feel like some of you really felt or feel bogged down, like you um, are in this compression tank. It, 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 it's, it's crazy um, the way that it feels. But there's an increase here, and you have two sixes. Fred, tell us more about the six of wands, please. Um, sixes, Cancer, represent that you're getting over the hump of something, okay? It represents progress um, and growth. Tell us more about the Six of Wands, please. What's coming for Cancer? 
two of swords, which we're going to clarify over there. The wheel of fortune's coming in and the two of pentacles, okay? So you might have options on options, decisions on decisions, offers and opportunities um, coming for you, all right? Whether this is a new love situation or just a sturdy foundation, I feel like for most of you, it's just a sturdy foundation. It's it's your ability to feel free again, like your feet can actually touch the ground, you know what I mean? Rather than feeling like you're floating. Um, I know these metaphors are getting crazy, but that's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, for some of you, this is about... Um, a work situation about being successful, whether that's in a business um, that you want to start. All right. I see you moving forward, though, um, Cancer, you know, taking these blindfolds off um, and really seeing something for how beautiful it is or can be. It's like you see the potential now. You have hope, you know? It, it feels like you didn't have hope or you don't have hope right now, but I feel the energy changing. Tell us about the two of swords, please, as your energy trying to come out. So perhaps you are um, aware of this or you're starting to feel lighter. I feel like literally some of you are physically feeling lighter, like this was really weighing you down. Hmm. We have the three of cups, the five of cups, and the judgment card. Yeah, you're allowing yourself to have a new um, perspective here, okay? Where perhaps at one point you wanted um, to reconcile with some someone. If for, if for some of you this is uh, regarding a love situation, you're moving forward and understanding that that's in the past, that that's not what's best for you here, okay, for some of you. But there's so much growth here, okay? And and there's a realization, you know, in, in the Five of Cups, we have to get to the point where we accept, okay? Rather than looking back at this three, um, you've accepted here that that wasn't what's best for you, that that wasn't what your calling was, that there's something else that you needed to focus on here in the Two of Pentacles. There's something else that needed your focus. And I think it's your own success, Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about how you can give your heart what it needs during this time. Spirit, how can cancer give their heart what it needs during this time that you've presented? I'm going to take all three for you. We get in the Six of Pentacles again. You have the Eight of Pentacles, which I was really feeling earlier, um, and the King of Cups. You're showing up there. First of all, you had the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles up here with the Six of Wands, okay? That's why I said for, for a lot of you, this has to do with working hard towards your success, okay? And again, in a work situation, if that's the case. But um, more importantly than that, you need to take a balanced approach here, okay? Um, and when I say that, I mean, be sure that your emotions are in balance with your logic, all right? And, and, and um, at a frequency that can help you to learn more here, to grow, all right? Be the king of cups. <laughs> be you, boo. Be you. Full out. And don't be apologetic about it. Don't apologize to people for who you are. Don't don't apologize to people for who you are. Answer. Um, all right. Let's get an oracle message for you and then we'll close out. for cancer <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Um, you have I Am Beautiful here. Like I said, be you, boo. Be you, okay? You don't need someone else to validate how you feel. You don't need someone else to validate what path you want to go down. Those decisions are yours and yours only, okay? You made one here. It may have hurt a little bit, but I see you picking yourself back up and really pushing forward like, um, yeah, the nine of wands and that wounded warrior energy, really just picking yourself back up, turning things around and um, being successful in whatever it is that you want to do. So Cancer, this is the message I have for you today. If this is your message, please don't forget to like the video, share the video, share the love and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.